So this is just a last day of Thanksgiving break vlog where I'll be talking about some college app stuff later in the video, so stick around for that. Alright, welcome to a new vlog, guys. Oh, okay. So today basically is just the last day of Thanksgiving break, which sucks, because I don't want to go back to school. But point is, um, today we're just doing some regular chill stuff, so right now we're going to the gym. Also, quick note, I don't actually usually go to the gym and just a break kind of thing. Usually I'm just at home doing homework. Point is, we're on our way to the gym right now, and then after that, my sister has like a thing for her dance. So, I'm going to be able to be alone at home, which is going to be extremely fun. So, anyway, peace out. Alright, so I'm back from the gym. I did, what muscles did I do? Back. Okay, so, I was supposed to do it in my back, but I feel it in my abs, which is interesting. Maybe if I do my abs, I'll feel it in my back. <laughs> Anyway, um, I did mostly cardio and then back exercises, like weight thingamajiggits. So now we're going home to have some lunch and stuff, so we'll see you when we do that. And I think I included some clips of the exercise thing before, so yep. Okay, so we are back from the gym and I'm making myself something to eat. Okay. So we're making sort of like an avocado chocolate pudding milkshake situation. Anyhow, we got some yogurt. It's plain. Yum. Uh, plain yogurt. I'm gonna take some blender. Okay. I just realized I should have the cocoa powder first because it's gonna fix the wet skin. Have our clean spoon and we have our yogurt. I'll just put the blender lid on the yogurt tub. <laughs> That's here. Um, then we have our cocoa powder because this is a chocolate situation. And if anyone thinks it's gross to put avocado with chocolate, it's not. <laughs> like, it doesn't really taste like avocado. It tastes like something creamy you put to make it taste better, I guess. I don't know. Then we have our actual avocado. And it doesn't blend, I'll add some almond milk. I guess I could add a regular milk since I'm making this dairy anyway, but you know what? We'll just see how it goes. Okay. I keep touching like yucky stuff like that. It's fine. I just saw what I was been out for a little, so it's a little bit on the grosser. It's like got some brown on it, but it's okay. It's still good. It looks like it's not gonna blend in a million years, so I'm gonna add some almond milk. So we're glad we're not adding almond milk because the almond milk isn't starting yet, and the milk is, so we're doing that now. And we'll be back after I blend this. Okay, so the reason I look like a drowned rat right now is basically because I just took a shower, so that's what's going on. I am really gonna stop making my done. The point is, I see point is a lot too. Oh well. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna turn my laptop while I'm talking to you guys. And you guys being literally anyone who watches this video because there's no you guys yet. Anyway, so as y'all hopefully know, I 
finished my UC apps yesterday, and I thought I'd just share some thoughts I had while doing that. Or I guess I had a lot of thoughts, but like some specific thoughts. Sorry, I was watching YouTube before on no, but I'm opening it. Okay. Okay, that's pause. Good. Um, anyway. So I thought I'd share some thoughts on applying to college and like how to do it better. Because I didn't do it better, I did it worse. Okay. Actually. Right, so my thoughts are first of all, don't do what I did and don't procrastinate. I'm just gonna set my phone stand so it's not shaky. Okay. So basically what I did, I procrastinated because it was so the UC app is doing like a few days. Today's the 27th, it's doing three three days. I did it like the four days because yesterday was 20. Yeah, so I did it four days before it was due. Which like, yeah, that's not as bad as most of my other stuff. Like most of the stuff I do is like midnight it's due. But I mean still it's pretty bad compared to like I know a lot of people who've already submitted them like a long time ago. And I feel like if I just like started the process earlier, because I really only started writing my personal intake questions like this week basically, I think. Well, no, technically sorry. Technically I wrote one earlier, but I edited it. Cause if you guys remember or have watched it, my first vlog was a life vlog, whatever. But in the beginning, I was editing a PIQ and then writing another one. PIQ stands for personal type questions. I'll be using that as a thing for anyone who doesn't know. So anyway, I was editing a PIQ. Um, that was the one I wrote before. But like most of them I did write slash edit during this one week's Thanksgiving break. And I wish I could, kind of had done it earlier because then I feel like I would have been able to edit more and be more confident in what I put on the application. Like I think what I wrote is good enough. I just wish I didn't have to settle for good enough, which would have been accomplished by not procrastinating. So I would just say like, start it as soon as you can. Like, let's see. Cause for school, I had to do some questions for any college I chose. I chose my top choice, Pomona College. Um, but then the issue is I still need to get my letter of rec for that one. So I'm waiting and I can't really submit, which means I would have had more time to do that one anyway. If I had done my PIQs then instead of now, I would have been able to like edit them as much as I had that one. So I feel like I just would have felt better about it. But anyway, basically just don't procrastinate. Do it as early as you can. But then again, prioritize your top colleges always. So like the one I chose to do for the assignment was the one I really want to want to go to. But on the other hand, you sees like one app in many schools. So that would have also been more efficient if I had done that. And so really just like you weigh the pros and cons for yourself. When writing the PIQ, something I noticed is that a lot of people like write vague ideas. Like I had a friend, she was writing about like a leadership experience she had. She just wrote about the experience in general. Something I tried to do was look at a specific incident. So for example, my leadership personal insight question, because again, for those of you who are not California people um, or even US people, I don't know. So for these questions, you have different prompts and one of the prompts is to talk about a leadership experience and I do hand gestures while I'm sorry. So for that one, I chose to talk about a club I lead. I didn't start this club, I did start a different club, but I wrote about one I, I inherited from the person who was leading in last year. And I wrote about how we basically had no members this year and we had to start up from scratch. So that specific incident would have been better and more effective if instead of if I had wrote like, oh, I'm the leader of this club and this is what I do on a regular basis or whatever, because like, yes, that's cool. But like then it isn't as personal, like you're not there with the, I don't know if that makes sense, but like it's better to have a specific incident, like for example, another, another one. Um, it was asking about like challenges that could have impacted your grades or like just in general life challenges. And there's a lot I could have chosen from. And in fact, there's like a whole collection of things that would have been related. I'm being really big right now because I don't feel comfortable putting this on the internet yet. We'll see. The point is for this one, um, I could have put a lot more like of a broad issue that I've had on a longer time period. But then first of all, that would have gone way over the word count because I had to explain everything then. I actually did draft an option like that. But then I chose a very specific issue from that collective collection of issues. And then that turned out to be more like effective because I got to really break down my solutions for that specific aspect of the issue. 
which again, I feel like that was a better way to approach the essay than to write like, oh, these are just some general vague ideas of the issues that I'm writing to get under the word count, but also give you a lot of issues. It's so I guess like quality over quantity really. And then let's see another like, cause like you can't always have a specific incident, right? Because like, what's the difference? Okay, there's like a, for example, specific school subject that you enjoy outside and inside of class, right? For that one, I wrote like literature, like reading, writing, etc. For those, it's less about like the concepts you enjoy, I feel like, and more like how it's personal to you. So like for me, I wrote about how English is technically my second language and how like I had to learn English later than my peers, etc., etc. Um, and then I wrote like about why it's personally important to me, why I find it interesting instead of like, oh, I find metaphors interesting, which is this and that, and similes or this and that, like as if the vision software someone you know that. If they don't know what that is, I have concerns. But point is like you go into like the specifics instead of going into like the broad like painting. Yeah, so like think of it like impressionism, like you have globs of paint that represent like textures, ideas of what the person is supposed to see. Impressionism is cool and everything. I really like the style myself, but when you're going for like the college essays, you should go for more like specific. For example, like like realism gets all those tall, tiny little details. Like some people will even draw like the pores on skin, which by the way is really cool. I aspire to that level of art. But my point here is that basically you have to get down to like the more specific ideas instead of giving them like the broad strokes of what your essay is about. So that's just something I really noticed while writing those essays. And then <laughs> if you guys watched my vlog yesterday, which if you hadn't, you should, but yeah, the, the vlog had a lot of interesting stuff. Like I went shopping, um, not clothes shopping, like food shopping is much better as food. The point is in that essay, not essay, vlog, um, wires got crossed. So in that vlog, I was like filming how I was submitting my application and I was just like, oh my gosh, where, what do I do? Um, even though it was like one button, so like that's a dumb question because it's easier to just click the one available button. But like chill, I guess, is my advice because like after I submitted, I was like thinking about it, I'm like, okay, if I hadn't submitted, like what would have happened? I would have probably forgotten to submit on the due date and I wouldn't have really gone back and changed anything. Like I already know that I can't really know, like not know, do more than I've already done for that application. So you just go in and submit, like don't, like obviously go back and check that you filled out everything. Although it, I I think I didn't actually fill out one thing and it told me like go back and fill this in. So like, if you didn't fill something out, it'll tell you. So like even then like chill on that. What I did, like my last little, what, what I checked was if all my PXUs like copied properly, cause that's really the important part. Like, yeah, the grades matter, but again, I had already inputted this all before. I just had to do the PIQ. By the way, that's just like for context. I didn't just like do the entire application yesterday. I like did most of it before when I applied to a CSU, but then I had to do the PIQs more recently to fill that in. The point is I went back and checked that every single part of my PIQs was there that I hadn't like cut it off earlier or included like something else. But like, again, that's something you check like maybe once or twice. You don't go obsessively going back and forth and checking it and rechecking it, which I would have done. <laughs> But basically just chill, like you know you've done your best and that's really all you can do. Unless you hire someone to fill out your application, which you shouldn't do because that's, I don't think that's legal. So yeah, no, don't do that. Um, just know that you did the best you can do and chill about that. And yeah, that's really all my like ideas slash advice for college apps. Um, I don't know, I just had like a lot of fresh thoughts I wanted to share. So I hope that helps anyone who's going through that right now because I know it is college app season. And yeah, if you have any questions, I guess leave comments, but just remember I'm not a professional college applier. I'm just a high school senior who is trying to go through that stage of life right now. But yeah, if you have any questions you think I can answer, leave that in the comments, I guess. Um, heck, I'd probably even be willing to like, proofread a few, but we'll see about that because the finals are coming up, but we'll see. So basically just, that's my thoughts. Let's go watch TV because I'm hopeful. <laughs> don't have anything better to do. I might also draw because I haven't drawn all break and I really want to draw. I'm not good at drawing, so I'm not going to be sharing anything. So, peace out. Let's the screen. Peace out. Honestly, I should be doing peace signs for peace out because that's peace, but like, finger guns. So, anyway. I'm going to just say, you guys, I really love this one movie and I just want to hear like what your thoughts on it are. 
Dumplin. It's like on Netflix. It's popular. You guys probably have watched it. But like, what are your guys' thoughts on it? Because my parents think it's silly. I love it. Like, this is my fifth time watching it. I'm watching it right now. Here. See if I can. Yeah. Watching Dumplin. So, yeah, I'm just wondering what you guys think. Because I love the movie a lot. Just comment any thoughts you have on it, I guess. So I did a silly mistake. No, I did a bit of a silly mistake. Yeah, that's better. Basically, I have to do a presentation for history for tomorrow, and I had all afraid to do it, and I forgot. So, I mean, to be fair, my partner for the project also forgot, so it's not entirely my bad. But it is largely my bad. But point is, doing that now and procrastinate, kids, it's bad for you. Right, so basically that was the vlog, and I didn't really end up doing much today, just <sighs> had breakfast, went to the gym, talked to you guys about college stuff, ate multiple times, and then watched TV and caught up on homework while being very stressed. So, hope you enjoyed this vlog and stick around for my brilliant personality, and if you like this content and want to see more, please hit subscribe. Thanks!